So I want to talk about something uh, real important to me, real close uh, and dear to me in this uh, video today. So disclaimer, I, I'm, I might get a little emotional. I might not. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But when I was growing up, when I was growing up, man, I was a loser. First things first. First things first, guys. Serious video today. I was a loser. I was overweight. Which doesn't just make you a loser, like, but in my school it did. And, you know, I was that kid that sat at the table with three other people that were also, like, the super rejects. That was me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, that actually is a good thing for me. Because I met my friends. That's where I met my friends. My, my lifetime friends is where I met at that table. It was, like, four or five people, and it expanded, and you know, got slimmer over time, but it was those people, and uh, we did everything together, all, all, my whole life, like from kindergarten up, we did everything together, and that was a really cool, that was a really awesome thing that happened in my life, but something happened a little bit later, and when I got to my late 20s, and I, a lot of you can probably attest to this in the comments. Let me know. But when I got to my late 20s, those friends disappeared. And it's not because they were like, I hate you, Cody. It's nothing like that. It's, you know, life happens. I mean, people get married. They move across the country. Uh, they were just gone. So, you know, you know the story about me anyway. I mean, if you follow my channel, I got married. Um, I still hung out with my friends, but, you know, I got married. And she became my best friend. And uh, in 2016, she didn't want to be my friend anymore. So we were together about eight years, and then she left. So I was totally alone. And my friends were pretty much gone. This was at the point where they were disappearing and moving away and stuff like that. And over the last couple of years, I've came to accept this. I'm, I thought to myself, hey, you know, like, when you get to this age, you just don't have friends anymore. And it's kind of a hard realization to come to, but it just seemed normal. Everybody my age seems the same. It just seemed, that just seems how, it's, how it is nowadays. And is it entirely that bad to have no friends? No. No. I mean, it's, it gives you time to focus on yourself. But would you need that support? Yeah. But I just didn't have it. I'm now 31 years old, guys. I'm 31. I do almost everything myself. You know, I, I do my YouTube, the channel you watch. That's pretty much my entire life. Please subscribe. <laughs> it's my entire life, guys. Oh, my God. But I learned something. I learned something really recently that I didn't think I would uh, get to experience. When I started YouTube... You know, it was for fun, obviously. And uh, when it when it started taking off, that was pretty cool. But something came of it that I never thought would ever come of it. My viewers. And I know a lot of people are different, but my viewers would message me and talk to me. And I have people that have been in my community for a long time. And they've become, you know, real friends. But now, granted, that, that's the point of this whole video is the fact that I, I didn't consider it that way. You know, they were the people from my YouTube community, you know, and the people in my real my in my actual life. You know, I don't have any friends in real life. So I talk to these people on Discord. And I talk to these people on Instagram. And I talk to these people on Twitter. And um, I talk to them regularly, you know. Well, recently, we had a we had a meetup, guys. We went to Orlando with sixteen people, maybe, all from my channel, and um, that's about the probably the first day of this meetup with some truly fan damn people. About a uh, a day into this meetup, maybe maybe about a day into it, I learned something. That I 
I learned something inadvertently that I didn't think I would learn. And I learned that these people that chose to they chose to come to this get together with me I learned that they were my real friends I'm sorry. It just... I've always said for years now that I don't have friends. And it's just crazy to me. I left... I left Orlando last week. You know, and I got home. And I was just... I was just laying there. And I realized... That I have friends. <laughs> real, real friends. And that's something I didn't expect to happen. You know, like, like I said, I was like, oh, these are, be you know, people in my YouTube community. And, uh, it was just a... It was just unexpected. And I told you I was going to probably get emotional. And I actually thought I was strong enough to hold it back. But I'm a big old fat bitch and I just can't help it. But. You feel, you know, you you feel alone. I, we all feel alone sometimes. It's just crazy. It's crazy to me that. On this weird thing, uh, the internet, that you can start over. So, I want to read something. From my boy, uh, Skytex. He was at the get-together. I'm gonna read this. And, um... I want you guys to pay attention. Because this is how I feel. So, let, <laughs> we're gonna read this real quick. Oh, my heart's beating so fast. I apologize, guys. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Well, you're the first one to get this because you're definitely included. I had lots of thinking time on the drive already. Um, so read this and pass it along. It says, so now that the trip is done, the one from last week, well, for most of us, I just wanted to say thank you. You really don't know just what it means to me. Seven months ago, I was staring down the barrel of my pistol, hating my life, and squeezed the trigger hard enough that a tremor would have ended my life. I'm not really sure what stopped me. I wound up watching Cody and then Hannah, which is Tiny One Badger, every night to keep me from thinking about it. And it's led me to this entire community that has literally turned into my family. I know my humor isn't the best. I'm kind of a dick. Same. And my social skills are jack shit because in 37 years I've had exactly two friendships that weren't whatever. Because of the horrible relationship I was in. For that I'm sorry but I'm trying. I was so hesitant on coming on this trip and I'm so glad I did. You folks have not only saved my life. But keep me looking forward and improving. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And I can't wait for the next trip. And I can't wait either. Big Big Mike sent that to me the other day. And I read that. And I lost, I lost my shit. Because I guess you don't really think about it. The, the What I get from the community is like the same that some of them get from me. And that's just, it's just, it's comforting to have, you know, it's comforting to know that we all feel similar. Some of us do. So, one more thing. One more thing. So, this thing right here. We went on an axe-throwing adventure. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. I won the tournament because you guys suck. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But we have a, a few more people that weren't actually at this thing. But it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Um, and it's just cool. It's real cool to learn that... There's like-minded people out there, and it's cool for the first time in a long time to realize that I, I I actually have friends. So I can't no longer legally say that I don't have friends, because I do. 
And it's the people that have been on this journey that I started this ent entire time. Everybody you see in this picture has been in my community for years. So I appreciate all of you. I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I wanted to talk about that just for a minute. I apologize for getting emotional, but it means a lot to me. And I wanted to throw some love at the people that support me every damn day. And I would just let you know that you changed my life in such a big way. In such a big ass way. My boy Chris Rod Rodicus sent me a video. Or it's on his channel. I'll put it in the description. But he talks about being friends with me and stuff. <laughs> And I watched it and cried like a bit. I'm just so cry all the time. I can't even watch Moana anymore. You know the part where it's like, hey, uh, instant cry. Disney presents, hey, uh, cry. I'm crying already, baby. Crying already. You know at the beginning of Titanic, when it just shows the old ship, you know, like the vintage footage, and it's like, hoo, 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 I cry. Crying the whole time. Let's end this video. What am I doing guys? Thank you guys for always being there for me And I'm gonna try my best to be there for you. So until next time get the hell on it dog on it What even is this? <sighs> Bye <laughs> It's an HDMI splitter Yeah I wonder if I could use this For something. Why is it here? I don't know <laughs>